I feel that I had the best life. I also think I have the worst life. I will never, 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 never forget. Separated from my father, there was times that you didn't know if you're going to live the next day. This was a death camp. Very little people got out. For the morning, he woke up and there was nobody there. He got liberated. What really makes us special is the stories about individual contributors. How do we understand that idea culturally? Really understanding where we've come from. You're not a farmer, so food is out. You're not a tailor, so clothing is out. So that leaves the building industry. Broke, not poor. They didn't have money, but they had family values, they had cultural values, they had work ethic. They came in and they just started to work. They told people they had the trades and learned on the spot. And my grandfather quickly became the rainmaker. Listen, Lander, come to Toronto. People building here. I saved up $2,000. It was like two million today. Stubbies was a little variety store deli. And you could sit there and be insulted by Stubby, but the developers would all go there. You went out for lunch and you bought a building. <laughs> I would call these buildings irreplaceable assets. They've served their function for the people that have been here, and they're gonna serve their function into the future. What these guys did was an early start towards urbanization of Toronto in more of a global context. What they came from taught you that no matter what you had, you could lose it all at any point. Every new immigrant, no matter what their ethnic background, Toronto is a place to belong. And what does everybody need when they come? A place to live.